Hello everybody, welcome to This Week in Esports. This is the first week I'm doing it, so of course from here on out, it's always going to get better, hopefully. Might not do it every week, we'll see. This news is going to be covering February 27th through March 5th. But I'm hoping this is a good way for you guys to get all your information in esports in one quick video. Now, I'll be covering the major esports, things like League of Legends, CSGO, Dota, Hearthstone, things like that. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the smaller esports. So yeah, we're going to take a look at all the tournaments and any news that happened. So first, let's start out with CSGO. This week, there was one major tournament, and that was mainly the IEM World Championship. So beginning with the group stage, the two teams that got out of it right away is Heroic and FaZe, and FaZe does end up making it to the final. And something interesting, this is FaZe's first tournament with their new player Nico, which is sometimes called the best player in the world, and I would agree. So in the round of six, it was North versus Immortals and Astralis versus Navi. North versus Immortals, Immortals ended up taking the game, and Astralis versus Navi, Astralis ended up taking the game, and Astralis is another one that ended up making it to the finals. In the semifinals, it was FaZe versus Immortals, FaZe won, Heroic versus Astralis, and Astralis won. Now comes the finals, which is actually today, Sunday, and it ended up just finishing maybe an hour or two ago, and the score ended up being 3-1 for Astralis. Just some other small things. Uh, the ECS Development League EU was going on, but nothing super interesting happened. And the only big player team swap was Nico coming to phase. This was his first tournament, the IEM World Championship, and he did phenomenal. Although not winning the championship, he played very well. Moving on to League of Legends, of course, right now going on is the NALCS, EU LCS, LCK, and the LPL. So we're going to go through kind of maybe the bigger matches and kind of the scores right now. Now this video is recorded Sunday night, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple games going on at like 2 in the morning, but I got school tomorrow. So I'm not including those matches, but I think those are mostly either in the LCK or the LPL, I'm not sure. So let's start off with the NALCS. Right now, we've got a tie, Cloud9 and TSM at 10-2. And some of the interesting games this week were Immortals versus Liquid, and Liquid actually won, and that was a pretty big upset. Liquid's like 2-8, and eight, or 3-8, and eight, and Immortals was much better, so it was a pretty big upset. And only maybe about 30 minutes ago was Cloud9 versus FlyQuest. Of course, FlyQuest was the old Cloud9, so it's kind of family against family, and Cloud9 ended up taking it again. They did face before a week or two ago, and Cloud9 did win. In the EU LCS, G2 right now is 8-0, and, and H2K and Unicorns of Love are both at 6-2. One of the interesting matches this week was H2K versus Fnatic, and H2K did win. Fnatic's not doing that good, although they're probably my favorite team in the EU LCS. They're not doing that good. In the LCK, it's no surprise that SKT is dominating with a 9-1 score. Right behind them is KT Rolster and Samsung Galaxy with a 7-3 score. Also today was KT Rolster versus SKT, and SKT won, and this is their second win against KT Rolster. In the LPL, uh, the two leaders right now are Edward Gaming and Royal Never Give Up, both the 5-1 score. There wasn't much random news other than maybe a couple players switching around. I know Piglet had his role changed a little bit. Riot, the developer of League, made a lawsuit against League Sharp, the company that provides cheats, for a $10 million lawsuit. So let's move on to some other games like Dota, COD, Overwatch, Hearthstone, Super Smash. These don't have as much news, but we can kind of sprinkle in some things. We'll start with StarCraft 2, uh, the IEM World Championship. They had one for this too. In the semifinals, it was Alive versus TY. TY ended up winning 3-2. And Dark versus Stats, Stats ended up winning 3-1. And in the finals, it was TY versus Stats, and TY won 4-3. In Heroes of the Storm, the HGC Western Clash is going on. In the semifinals, it was Misfits versus Dignitas and Tempo Storm, one of my favorite teams, versus Fnatic. Both Misfits and Fnatic won 3-0. And in the finals, is Fnatic versus Dignitas. Dignitas ended up taking it 3-2. Now, for Dota, COD, Overwatch, Hearthstone, Super Smash, there wasn't any big news or games or tournaments. Some of the just random news in Overwatch, a new hero was shown, Orissa, which is kind of like a tank support character. Uh, she can buff damage, but she's also a tank with long range, with like a little Gatling gun thing. It's kind of cool, you should check it out. In Hearthstone, Journey to Ungro was kind of previewed, which is kind of like a dinosaur prehistoric kind of thing. It's very cool, very excited, you guys should check it out. 
and there was a little bit of a scandal going on in Dota 2 with Northern Arena apparently not paying their casters and teams that won. So yeah, mainly this week was just the IEM World Championship uh, for CSGO and StarCraft 2 and a couple of little things. I had fun watching the NA LCS personally and I'm hoping for some more good games next week. Hopefully I did a good job of expressing what happened this week. Of course, I will get better over time. This is my first week, so I'll see you in the next video.